He went into a coma 29 hours before he passed. He was still talking and playing and everything. Playing with trains. Playing and stuff. And he couldn't walk at that point and couldn't see properly. He fell asleep and while he was sleeping, he had a little mini seizure and then went into a coma. So we actually thought he was going to pass at that time. But then he hung on and let, let us take care of him. His respiration went down to two breaths a minute. We held him for an hour and a half, yeah. taking the horrible gasps and everything, because two breaths a minute is not enough. We laid him down, and we kept telling him, it's okay, you can go now. You've been brave long enough. You know, it's time to go home. He would come back every time we said that. He hung on for another 29 hours because he knew we weren't ready to let him go. And 29 hours later, we finally said, okay, Alexander, we're going to treat this like every other night. We're going to roll over and go to sleep with you between us like we always do at home. Yeah. And we went to sleep. Nurse woke us at 109 and he was passed. He took care of us for 29 hours because he let us bathe him, comb his hair. Even though he was in a coma, he could still hear us and he still knew he was what was going on. And then when we were ready, he said, okay.